Hey guys, this week's vlog is going to be on a trip to Dublin, Ireland. Um, Marissa and I decided to spontaneously do this trip because we had a free weekend and it's close, tickets were cheap, um, so we decided to go out. We're going to fly out on Ryanair, which I have heard has a lot of really bad reviews, so we're going to see what it's like. Um, I'm only packing a carry-on because I don't want to pay the extra fees for everything else, so we'll see how everything goes if I can get all of my stuff into this tiny little backpack and if it's going to last me the weekend in Ireland. What happens when you forget your ticket at home? Um, so Ryanair makes you print out a paper ticket to bring to the gate which is very different than the flight that I use which is usually Delta. So um, Marissa and I get here to the airport only for me to realize I didn't bring my ticket with me. It's still at home, probably on my bed. But um, Ryanair has a mobile app that you can download. So of course, we're like, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna download the app. We've been sitting here for about 10 minutes, both of us trying to download an app. This Wi-Fi is terrible. So hopefully that will work. <laughs> Cause if not, I'm not flying to Dublin. It worked. We downloaded the app, then had to go to the website and do all this crazy stuff with terrible Wi-Fi. But we got my pass, my ticket so we could get in. We just went through customs. I officially got my first German stamp. Pretty excited about it. Add it to France and Mexico. And then hopefully we're gonna get an Irish stamp, which will be so cool. But here we go. So we made it on our flight, finally. Um, didn't have, okay, we had a lot of problems getting here and getting <laughs> everything settled, but we are officially seated. Um, it's really tiny, small, like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's really small on this plane. So we have an hour flight till we land in Dublin, and then we head to the Airbnb. Hopefully we'll be there and not like last time where we were scrambling to find a place. And then we'll go to bed for the night and start our Dublin adventure tomorrow. So we get on the plane to get an announcement saying that our plane broke and that we can't take it anyway. So they're unloading us to load us on buses to take us across the airport to the other side so that we can get on a different plane. Yikes. So new plane. Uh, it's freezing cold in this airplane. But so they put us on a bus, shipped us for like 30 feet and drop this off at the next plane. Like we could have walked that in the time that it took to unload, everybody load into the bus and then go to the next airplane. Like it was kind of ridiculous. So we're here. We're gonna go to Dublin, hopefully soon. I'm getting really tired of being on an airplane. We made it, we are in Ireland.
see them because I'm going to edit this video later so that you see them before this. That's unimportant. <laughs> um, and we finally, it's towards the end of the day, we've made it here. We are now at St. Patrick's Cathedral here in the background. Um, we're going to go take a tour, hopefully, of it and see what exciting things this church has. I love old churches. Like, every place that we've gone and seen an old church, it has been like the most incredible thing on the inside. So this is hopefully gonna be really crazy exciting. to the Malahide Castle because we technically are staying in Malahide and not Dublin. Um, to get to the castle you have to cross through a big expanse of parks and as we were walking along these paths we suddenly realized that there's some kind of 5k marathon something going on with all of these people running and I'm talking like a ton of people. We've been sitting here for three minutes now and people just keep on coming out of the park over there-ish. They just keep coming out. So we're waiting for all of them to pass before we can continue on because nobody wants to walk next to somebody who's running a 5k. Makes you look bad. Not them, you. So we'll get to the castle eventually. If I start running, does it count that I ran in a marathon in Ireland? Because I'm tempted to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to Dublin's own Malahide Castle. Isn't it so cool looking? This area totally reminds me of an English fairy tale, which is weird to say about Ireland, but you see like all of the mists and the fogginess and the trees and the castle that's so cool. We're gonna go see if there's a prince there because we might just stay here if there is, but we'll see. designing house plans for my own future house because I have some new ideas. The oak room was gorgeous, the bedrooms, like can you imagine waking up in a giant four poster bedroom or four poster bed and just looking out upon endless swaths of green grass? Like holy cow I'm so excited to eventually have that one day because that's my goal. 
Right now we are wandering through the West Side Garden. This garden was planted by Milo Talbot, one of the last Talbots alive. Um, he was like kind of like a horticulturist. He brought plants from everywhere. So this garden area is clear full of plants all over. I've seen trees from China, from the Himalayas, from all over just crazy, ooh, crazy amounts of stuff. Um, and it's very green. I mean, it did rain yesterday, so it probably helps, but this area is absolutely gorgeous. Oh look, there's a palm tree, just random palm tree. This is, this is a really cool place to come see. Definitely on a top five bucket list is you need to come see this castle. I wasn't staying in Dublin, that I was actually in a town called Malahide. Um, Marissa and I just got done with the castle, so we are wandering our way to the beach. Currently walking through one of the main districts of Malahide. The shops here are very low compared to at home in Germany. At home in Germany, that's weird to say. So for example, like if you look across the street, it's only two stories, give or take. That's kind of the idea here. All of the shops on the street, I feel like a weirdo walking down the street talking to my camera. All of the streets and the stores are very quaint, very, almost what I would imagine Ireland to be like. It, it fits every stereotype I've ever known or ever considered. Churches everywhere, cute little shops, they, um, super advertised the Guinea's beer here because I guess that was from Dublin, which is you know 30 minutes from here. Such a cool area. People just kind of walk. Um, weirdest thing to me is that. Hi. <laughs> I wonder what you were doing. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in the vlog because <laughs> I feel like a weirdo. Um, okay. So the weirdest thing to me is the traffic. Okay, not necessarily the traffic of the cars, but of the people. When people come to intersections, they don't wait for the signs, and they just kind of go when they can. You can tell, like, this was especially true in Dublin, you can tell who is Irish and who is not, who's a tourist, by if they wait for the sign or not. So in Germany, like, you wait. You do not walk across the road. You get yelled at by little old ladies or young kids stare at you but here you just kind of run i have seen more old people run here than i have seen young kids run it's it's really weird it's interesting i mean i would almost imagine it to be similar to america but it's not quite so this is just a cute little town cars also drive on the wrong side of the road with the wrong side of the steering wheel that super freaked me out the first night when we took a bus um, I had a really hard time going around all of the roundabouts because they would do it wrong according to my view of the world, my culture, learning things from class. Um, but as I've gotten over that and I've watched it, it makes sense here and it's just kind of interesting. I still like have to watch cars and um, remember, oh my gosh, they're not on the wrong side of the road, it's, oh my gosh, that's just how they drive here. <laughs> So oh, it's getting used to a lot of this, but it's not bad. I don't, I don't know where Marissa went. I'm gonna go find her. So after the castle and wandering the city, we decided to head down to the beach, go shell hunting. So this beach is really cool. It's all out, tied out right now. Um, and here's like the water, but I have found so many cool shells here. Yes, I'm using an ice cream cup to collect my shells in, but like there's some cool shells. Like I wish California or something had the amount of shells that this place has because California, like you never find anything. Here, I find all kinds of stuff. Super cool. This is exactly how I imagine an Irish coastline to be. Yes, with all of the burns blowing and the high dunes, hard sand. 
I didn't expect so many seashells, but there's our Marina Coast Village where we live. Boats out there. I love it here. This is the beach where we're at. It's just like endless amounts of sand and the ocean right there. And then it goes back into endless amounts of sand. Also, there's a really cool, there it is. That thing right above my finger. We're gonna try and get there. It's some cool looking cliffs that we think will be really fun to go just stand on. I'm thinking it'd be fun to go stand and pretend I'm waiting for my Irish prince to come home. But we're gonna try and find our way there. Okay. So close and yet so far. This is the island we've been trying to reach all afternoon. We took several buses, took the dart train and everything, and finally got this far only to find out that there's a ferry that you have to get to it because it's an actual island, not just like an outcrop of ground. <laughs> so we came out here to look for the ferry. We found the ferry dock, but no ferry, so we don't know where it's at or when it's coming back it'll ever come back but we're here this is really cool this island in the background and then we just walked through this tiny little village called Houth H-O-W-T-H and it is like the utmost fishing village I've been to since I've been to Maine and it is it's cute we went and had fish and chips there at like an actual like really famous fish and chips restaurant that I don't remember the name of now. But it was good. It was really good. Um, I actually like garlic sauce now because of it. But, so we're just going to spend the rest of the afternoon wandering around, maybe find more chocolate, maybe find more things to do, like feed crows and birds and stuff. Also selfie sticks are an amazing thing. Bye.